now switch you to our man in the sand, sunny beaches out on Beach Patrol. Good day, good day. We're out on the beach today talking to swimmers to get their reactions to the biggest fish tale in history. We're asking people about their experiences with the great white shark, Jowls. Here is a sunbather now. Sir, what would you do if you saw Jowls swimming straight for you? Hustle. Quick thinking, quick thinking. But what if you couldn't swim fast enough? What would you say to Jowls? Why can't we be friends? Well, good luck the next time you're in the water, pal. Now let's move on down the beach a bit and talk to the world's famous swimmer, Shark Spitz, and his lovely wife, Rhonda. Pardon me, Mr. Spitz, I understand you were actually once attacked by Jowls. What were the first words to come out of your mouth? That's clever, clever. But how did you finally escape the deep throat of Jowls? Oh, ho, ho, it's magic! Well, that sounds kind of fishy to me. Uh, now tell me, uh, what, what did you really use to discourage Jowls? I know my! Uh-huh, sounds like real fish fly to me. Thank you, Shark Spitz. Now let's move on down to the water's edge and speak with a swimmer who was attacked by Jowls only a few moments ago. Sir, it's a miracle that you escaped. How did you do it? Someone saved my life tonight. Uh-huh. And we understand that the lifeguard told you not to go in the water, but you wouldn't believe him. When Jowls was closing in on you fast, what were you doing? And since you disobeyed the lifeguard, he didn't want to save you. What did you say to get him to jump into the water after you? Please, mister, please. What? No sugar on top? Well, now that he did save you, after all, how do you feel about the lifeguard? Say, what does your wife call this relationship with the lifeguard? Uh, yes, I, uh, I think we should ask the lifeguard how he feels about you. Boy, I'm glad I'm not the only straight person on the beach today. Okay, back to the swimmer. What do you think people should do when they hear the lifeguard yelling, Jowls! Jowls! Won't you listen to what the man says? Ah, wait just a moment. Our sound man, Joey, is jumping into the water to see just how dangerous it is. Hey, Joey, how does it feel being out there with the chance of getting eaten alive by Jowls at any moment? I'm as helpless as a kitten love tree. Ah, uh, Joey, the management has asked me to tell you that if you're swallowed by Jowls, you're fired. All right, as Joey splashes around, we'll try to be talking with some other people some more. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. What's that out there in the water? Oh, no. It's Jowls himself heading straight for Joey. Joey, look out, Joey. Somebody please tell Joey what to do. Run, Joey, run. Joey, run. Joey, how long do you think you can keep swimming away from Jowls? Oh, no. Joey, Joey. Jowls has Joey. Joey. I wonder where they'll send his unemployment check. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're now walking out to the very end of the pier to have an exclusive interview with Jones. Jones, now that you've had a chance to sample our employees, how do you like them? How sweet it is. Oh, that's sick, Jones, just sick. What could you possibly gain by eating all those people? Hey! Way you overgrown salamander, I just think that's revolting, just revolting. This is Sunny Beaches on the edge of the pier, taking you back to our studios at...